everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Now in today's video I'm going to talk about the most common things that a covert narcissist says. Now this can be in the context of a family, so this could be a covert narcissistic parent or this could be in an intimate relationship, a romantic relationship, where one of the two partners is a covert narcissist. Now, before I start, I'd like to say that if you relate to some of the following statements, then please feel free to share your story below the video in the comment section. Now, as you probably already know, a covert narcissist is usually the quieter, more passive type of narcissist, more introverted narcissist. And the abuse that they inflict on people is very well hidden and people don't usually notice that the individual is actually abusive. They are very passive aggressive, they use gaslighting a lot as a manipulation technique, they are very very clever as they constantly play the victim when they need to achieve something or they need to convince somebody of something. And they can be very cruel to their family members. Now these are 25 different things that I have come across that a covert narcissist says to their loved ones. Number one, it's your fault. Number two, I was only joking. Number three, don't be so sensitive. Number four, don't get upset over nothing. Number five, don't be so selfish, self-centered, pathetic, and you can add whatever other word your parent or your family member may have said to you. Number six, it's not a big deal. Number seven, why are you always so defensive? Number eight, I didn't say that. Number nine, I will never lie to you again. Number 10, I had no idea this would hurt you. Number 11, you are the only one who doesn't understand me. Number 12, you are crazy. Number 13, you are constantly misunderstanding me. Number 14, well, I think in this instance you may have deserved it. Number 16, I didn't hurt you. I think you hurt yourself. Number 17, if it's not in my mind and I don't think about it, I don't care. Why can't we just forget the past? You don't understand. I can't actually be alone. I need you. Otherwise, I feel stressed, anxious, depressed, etc. I haven't done anything wrong. It is all in your head. What you are saying makes absolutely no sense. My friends don't like you, but I always make excuses for you. I always defend you and I have your back. Why are you always so insecure? It is not my fault I'm like this. It is my parents' fault because they were really horrible to me growing up. You are a bad person. Now, these are things that I have experienced from a covert narcissist and that I have found very difficult, especially when I was a child and I needed support, I needed attention and I needed somebody to validate my feelings. In moments where I expressed feelings of anger, towards my parent in moments where I expressed feelings of sadness. My parent would scold me. My parent would tell me to stop being so sensitive, to stop being selfish. My parent constantly told me to not feel what I was feeling. It is very hurtful to have somebody in your life that is like this. No matter what you do, you're always wrong. You always get the blame. There is always a huge power imbalance in a relationship with a narcissist, especially a covert narcissist, because you will never win. You will never get your feelings validated. And it is extremely painful to be in a relationship with somebody like this. If this is something you've experienced, then please feel free to leave a comment below the video. Thank you so much for watching. It was just a quick video today. Thank you for listening and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.